Hey, whoa, it's seventh in space. But why, you might ask? Why am I sitting in the streaming room with the seventh cast cheesy space lighting effects tonight? Well, for one thing, it's easier than green screen. But it's also because viewers of the seventh cast sent me this. The remake of Destroy All Humans, originally released back in 2005. It's nicer to look at than the original for sure, but does it hold up to modern standards? There's only one way to find out. Destroy All Humans was originally developed by Pandemic Studio, who no longer exist. They were mainly known for other titles, such as the original Star Wars Battlefront series, the short-lived Mercenary series, the Saboteur, and one of the worst Lord of the Rings games ever made. It's decidedly less than precious. Destroy All Humans had three sequels, one of which was a Wii exclusive, with the last being on 360 and PS3, but the PS3 version never made it to US shores, though I do recall seeing the UK version floating around in US retro shops. PS3 is region free after all. It was made by a different developer and didn't exactly... set the world on fire? Puns. I have them. So now it's 2020 and we have this new remake published by THQ Nordic. To sum up the plot for those of you who have never played the original series, you play one of the alien mannequins from the Roswell Alien Museum named Crypto, who is sent to investigate when another of his species crashes on Earth back in the 50s. The story is a play on old, cheesy, low-budget alien invasion films of that era. Most of the non-military humans act like either stumbling, bumbling rednecks or your typical 50s era sitcom characters. Being said in the 50s, there's a lot of jokes and references to the anti-communism Red Scare of that period, along with a lot of... other things that haven't aged all that well. If you're one of those folks who get easily triggered by humor that's not up to today's politically correct standards, you might want to skip this one. A lot of in-store humor falls flat anyway. Most of the laughs you'll get from this game come from some of the stuff you can do to humans throughout the experience, like sucking their brains out to harvest DNA. Why do the aliens need DNA? Because eons before, these aliens mated with humans, so every modern human has some alien DNA. And the aliens need fresh DNA because they reproduce by cloning. Why do they reproduce by cloning? Because DNA degradation via thousands of years of cloning have left all of them without genitals. No genitals. 100% genitals free. Completely bereft of genitals. Like the new legal. The graphics are a definite upgrade over the original, but it still somehow manages to look outdated. It maintains its cartoony look, but still visually looks like a game that might have come out at the tail end of the PS3 era. There's some cool lighting effects, the draw distance is decent, you don't really notice a lot of texture pop in, but when compared to modern games with a similar cartoony art style, it just doesn't hold up. But it's a budget title remake of a 15 year old game, so in the end, you get what you pay for. The music is good and feels appropriate for what it is being a game that wants to feel like a 50s alien invasion movie. The voice acting seems to be, as best as I can recall, the same voice tracks from the original for the most part. It sounds like an attempt was made to clean them up, but some of them still sound a little bit on the scratchy side, which wasn't uncommon in the PS2 era. People say Crypto sounds like Jack Nicholson, but to me he sounds more like Lieutenant Dan from Forrest Gump. I think maybe people think Crypto sounds like Jack Nicholson because the game subconsciously reminds them of that crappy 1990 movie Spaced Invaders whose primary alien was doing a straight up Jack Nicholson impersonation. The game is mission based and spread out over numerous locations that you'll visit repeatedly. 
These locations are small, sandbox style maps where you're free to explore around, find collectibles, and slurp out DNA to upgrade Crypto and his ship, though none of the upgrades will cause Crypto to grow genitals, oddly enough. And yes, I said your ship. In addition to roaming around the map, you can also hop into your flying saucer and cause mass destruction, so long as you're able to maintain your health under the never-ending military barrage, that is. Destroy All Humans is, above all else, a quirky stealth title. You have the ability to clone a human's NPC image and project it around you as a hologram so you can walk around without being spotted. You occasionally have to read the mind of passing humans to keep it powered up, but if you use any of your other abilities while disguised, the hologram can fail. There are also government majestic agents who will make your disguise fail if you get too close to them, so you have to use a mind power to distract them. And there are devices that can also interrupt your disguise that you have to destroy from a distance. Once exposed in your true form, the minute anyone sees you, it can set off a chain reaction of attacks that never end unless you can escape fast enough to an area where you're completely out of sight. If you're not fast enough, they'll find you whether you're in their line of sight or not, as the enemy AI is set to make a straight beeline for you once exposed. When this happens, there's no such thing as clearing the area. It will endlessly respawn enemies, racking up their power and difficulty until you either complete your objective, escape and hide to start the cycle over, or die. You have various weapons at your disposal, along with numerous mind power abilities, such as the aforementioned distractions, taking over their minds to turn them into minions, and so on. There's a jetpack that can be upgraded to eventually allow you to zip around the map hoverboard style, and of course, you have at your disposal an anal probe that sucks the brains out through an enemy's ass. Now that's what I call a close encounter. Eh? Eh? <laughs> The controls have been modernized somewhat, giving you the ability to do several things simultaneously that wasn't possible in the original version, but despite this, it still feels like an old game, mostly due to the fact that every time your hologram fails, the game turns into Serious Sam, with every enemy in the area swarming to your location. The AI really dates this game. The same thing happens when you're flying around in your ship. No matter how many humans, tanks, or mechs you blow up, the enemy just keeps coming. So missions that involve flying your flying saucer around become a balancing act of killing enemies who get too close, sucking up energy to keep the ship intact, avoiding missiles, and blowing up your objective as quickly as possible. This can get really repetitive and tedious as the game goes on, making it somewhat less fun than it could have been. It tries to keep things interesting with unlockable side missions that take you back to areas you've already explored, along with varying up the mission goals, such as sneaking into bases to find something, protecting a projector showing a film you made to counter the government's brainwashing while wave after wave of agents try to destroy it, and so on. And there's an area or two that wasn't in the original title just to give those who played the original something new to see. Still. About halfway in, things start to feel samey. Destroy All Humans is a good remake of the original game. It has much better graphics, and the controls have been improved. But it doesn't do much to modernize the overall experience. It feels more like a remaster where they focused a lot on upping the graphics quality than a full-on remake. And I'm sure fans of the original will say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, but the original is a relic of its era that could have done with a little more upgrading than what we got here. It's not a bad game, but it's just not top tier either. Still, for the $40 asking price, it's a decent way to spend a weekend, and while a good chunk of the experience gets old fast, the anal probe never does. Wow, that, uh... That didn't come out quite right at all, now, uh, now did it? Destroy All Humans gets a 5 out of 7. Hey there, how'd you like this review? Drop me a comment and let me know. While you're at it, toss this video a like, why don't you? If you're not subscribed, please do. Don't forget to click the bell so you're notified every time I upload. You can follow me on Twitter, links in the description. 
If you want to chat with me live, the seventh cast is held on Twitch every Saturday from 6 to 9 p.m. Central Time. Link is also in the description. Thanks for watching, and until next time, this is Seventh.